Hello everyone. In today's session, we will learn about the estimation of mode from a histogram. So for that, I have taken this question. Uh, in this question, the class intervals are given and the corresponding frequencies are also given. So we need to plot this in the graph paper and then from the model class, find out what is the estimated mode of this data. Before we proceed, let's look at the range of the class and the highest frequency. The range of this class is from 0 to 30. And each class size is of 5 units. Now we look at the frequency and the highest frequency is 18. We need to keep this in mind before we start plotting on the graph paper. We shall plot the class interval along the x-axis of the coordinate system that is as abscissa and we will plot the frequency along the y-axis as ordinate. Now I have already prepared this graph here if you can see. In this graph I have taken the origin somewhere out here and plotted the class interval or the class size along x-axis and the frequency along y-axis. Let me tell you that this particular graph paper is a 2mm graph paper. That means each small division that you could see from here to here is 2 millimeter, and the small box that you can see that from that is from here to here is of one centimeter and the bigger box the square is of two centimeter square that means the distance from here to here is two centimeter and from here to here is two centimeter now i have plotted the class interval along the x-axis i have chosen the origin here the starting point and then in for two centimeter I have plotted 5 units such that I can plot up to 40 units here. So before I proceed let me write down what is the scale that I have chosen. In the scale on top I am writing in x axis I have taken 2 centimeter is equals to 5 units. Now I have done that keeping in mind the range of the data as well as the class size such that my graph is neat and clear. Now along the x-axis I have taken 2 cm is equals to 2 units such that the highest value 18 fits inside the graph without any problem. So along y-axis I have taken 2 cm is equals to Two units that means for every centimeter there is one unit of frequency I have also clearly written class interval along x-axis and frequency along y-axis now the scale the class interval and the frequency are the general terms that I have used for this graph for this particular case you might have to write the particular term suppose for example uh, if suppose this is the marks obtained then you should write marks obtained and if this is the number of boys then you should write number of boys now with the data that we have now we will start plotting and small boxes with the class interval and the corresponding frequency first let me mark this one from 0 to 5 the frequency is 2 0 to 5 the frequency is 2 that means my block will be of height 2 units so let me complete this here so this is my block for the first class interval and for the corresponding class frequency now for the second class 5 to 10 the frequency is 5 now this is 4 this is 6 now in between 4 and 6 lies 5. So my block here will reach till this point. So this is frequency 
5. Now the next one is 18. So 18 clearly is still here. This is 18. Now from the table itself we can see that 18 is the highest frequency that means the corresponding class 10 to 15 is the model class that means our mode lies somewhere between 10 to 15 now what is the next next is 15 to 20 is 14 so 14 is here so let me draw this block 14 here You need to be really careful while doing this one because once you make an error, again doing it will consume a lot of time. 20 to 25 is 8. My 8 is here. Remember, I am drawing it keeping in mind what is my scale. So my 8 is here, therefore I am drawing a line, horizontal line 8 here and vertical line at 25 because it belongs to the class 20 to 25. No, no, the last line, last one, 25 to 30 is 5. Again, 5 will lie between 4 and 5, which is exactly here. Like this. So, now, this completes our histogram. So, what is this? Let me write down. This is our histogram now we need to, to estimate what is the mode for that we will take the model class as i told you the model class is 10 to 15 now from the peak from these two ends we will draw lines meeting the peak of the other class so from here i'm drawing it at this point i'm using broken lines Right? Similarly, suppose if this is the peak corresponding to the other one, then we will draw lines like this. Suppose this is A, then this is B, then AB and CD are two lines which are drawn from the peak of the model. Class. Now, these two lines intersect somewhere out here. As you can see, it intersects out here. So, from this point of intersection, we will drop a perpendicular on the x-axis such that it intercepts the x-axis at this point. Now, this value is your model value. The model class is 10 to 15 and the value model value is M is, now let me see this is, this is 10. So, here 5 divisions means 2 divisions equals to 1. So, this is 11, this is 12, this is 13. So, this point will be 14. So, the mode, the estimated mode of this data is 14. So this is how we estimate the mode of a given data using a histogram.